Good morning, namaste, friends. My name is Sharonda. A welcome to India House's 9.30 yoga class. Um, shall we begin by finding your comfortable seated position, whether it be on a block, you're sitting on the floor, or sitting in one of my personal favorites, which is Madrasana, with your hips on your heels, and the tops of your feet connected to the floor. Wherever you are to decide to position yourself, just make sure your spine is as erect as possible, feeling a lengthening in the side ribs and also verticalness of the spine. When you get your position, take a second here to align your spine by pushing into the top of the thighs, reaching your head towards the ceiling, let your shoulders come up a little bit, and Pull your shoulder blades back so that they're over your hips and then release the hands. Bring the hands to connect to the palms with the thumbs on the center of the heart. And close your eyes, slowly dip the chin as we begin with our morning prayer. We inhale together as usual. And we exhale together. Om. Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karabhavahai Tejas Vinavadi Tamas Tumatvit Vishabhahai Om Shanti 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 We take our hands behind your back. The left palm grabs the right wrist. We lean back as we inhale to look up. And then exhale gently lower the chest and the forehead to the floor. Taking a breath in, exhale, lengthen the spine. As you're grateful for the people in your life, the places that you've been, the things that are happening in your life, for the teachers, past, future, and present, and especially for yourself. Inhale, returning the body to vertical. Bringing the hands in front of the chest or in front of the belly, rubbing the palms, making the palms warm, as you start with cupping the tops of the face, the forehead, cupping over the eyes, the chin, the bridge of the nose, the top of the mouth, the jaw, the neck, even massaging the tops of the shoulders. And then bringing your hands with the left hand on top, the right hand connected to the heart, giving your heart a spin one way. And then reversing the spin the opposite way, giving yourself a little love. Slowly dip the chin as you open your eyes with a couple of weeks. Let's start with some simple twisting poses. Go ahead and bring your hand, your right hand adjacent to your left hip on the floor or on a yoga block is perfectly fine. Take your left palm, push it into the top of your thighs, and then inhale forward and then exhale twist the body to the right leg and then inhale release exhale push onto the top of the thigh twist the body to the right pushing your thighs apart inhale to release Exhale, push into the thighs, twist to the right. And then inhale, release. Bringing that red right palm on the top of the left, the right thigh. Bringing that left fingers adjacent to your waist. Push onto the top of the thigh. Inhale here. Exhale, twist the body to the left. Inhale, release, turning the chest full. Exhale, twist to the left. 
Breathing in deeply, in out of the nose. Inhale, forward, relax. And then exhale, twist to the left one more time. Inhale, release. Take your hands, interlace the fingers, place them on the top of the heart. Relax the elbows fully adjacent to the waist. Inhale, extend the fingers towards the sky with the palms facing the ceiling, reaching through the elbows. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Keep the arms in front of the chest. Exhale, push through the arms as you lower your hands to the floor. Inhale, flip the palms as you extend your arms to the sky. Interlacing the fingers at the top, bending the elbows, pushing the palms to the side. Exhale, lean the body to the right, keeping the chest as vertical as possible. And then inhale, center. Exhale, lean the body to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, release the fingers, press through the palms of the hands as you gently float the arms back to the floor. Inhale, extend the arms to the, the ceiling, interlacing at the top, pushing the palms to the floor, reaching through the elbows to straighten the arms. Inhale, lean back, look slightly up. Exhale, fold the chest slightly forward. Inhale, return the arms to vertical. Exhale, release the hands, pushing through the fingers, lowering the arms to the floor. Inhale, raise the right arm at the level of the shoulder. Turn your head to the left, push through that hand, and then bend the hand and the fingers, moving the hand, Releasing tension in the neck. And then turn the head forward and slowly push through the arms to lower that right arm to the floor. Left side, inhale, extend the arms to the height of the shoulders. Turn your head strongly to the right. Now bend and flex the wrist. And then return the head to vertical. Exhale, push through the palm as you gently lower your arm to the sky, to the floor. Take your arms in front of your hands, uh, in front of your chest, extending the arms forward. Inhale, expand the arms to the level of the shoulders. Exhale, connect the palms. Inhale, expand. Breathing in and out of the nose. Exhale, close. Inhale, expand. Breathing deeply in through the nose. And then exhale, collapse. One more. Inhale, expand. And exhale, collapse. Return the hands to the tops of the knees. Making your hands into the fist, collapsing the fingers to the top of the, the palms, bringing that thumb across the fingers so that it touches the second finger. And then rotate your wrists till they face the floor and bend the tops of the knuckles towards you. And then release by freeing the fingers. Make your fist, bend at the wrist, pulling the knuckles towards the body and then free the fingers. One more time, just like that. Making your fist, bringing the fingers towards the body and then freeing the fingers. Now play your fingers like you're playing a piano, waking up the finger joints. 
Now, if you start it from the thumb, of course, we work from the kinky side. Sometimes it's a coordination issue. Just moving your fingers, waking the fingers up. Now, spread the fingers as wide as you possibly can. Inhale and exhale. Keep them wide. Inhale and exhale. Now take your thumbs, flip them towards the ceiling like you're trying to give me a thumbs up and rotate your thumbs away from the body or towards the body, whichever works for you. And then reverse that rotation, just working on the thumb joints. When ready, place the palms on the floor Turn the hands so that they face the wrong way towards your, your thighs. Lift the hips up. You can uncross the knees as you bend the elbows to work on the wrist joints, keeping the chest lifted. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Now come, release that, coming to the floor. Finding your full seat and extending your feet forward towards your straight for our Vandasana pose. Bringing your hands adjacent to your, your waist. Then the elbow slightly, lengthen the spine by shifting your body weight to the right and the left. Flex your feet strongly. Point the toes towards the ceiling. Wiggle the toes as you keep your spine erect. Now spread the toes to wake up the toes. Open and close the toes, just spreading the toes. Now starting with our ankle circles. Now ankle circles to the right, making sure that the movement of course comes from the ankle joint. And then reversing that rotation a couple of times as well. Bend the knees pretty please, so that the soles of the feet are connected to the floor and your feet are a little bit wider than your hips, bringing the hands adjacent to your waist once more. We turn on our body and we drop our knees to the right, and our fingers uh, come to the floor, twisting to the right, keeping the spine erect. And then inhale, return to vertical, the knees face the ceiling, the palms are behind at the level of the waist. And then exhale, twisting the body to the left, keeping the spine erect. Inhale, twist the body to the center, and then completely over to the left, to the right of your screen. Lengthen the chest, expand and breathe, inhaling and exhaling out of the nose. And then exhale, return the chest to vertical, and then all the way to your left side for the last rotation. Return it to center, expand the feet wider than your hips like you're trying to make a V with your legs. As you're here, connect your palms so that your, your arms are extended in front of your, your chest. Too high, way too low, directly from the shoulder joint. Inhale, reach your chest forward and let's go to the right towards your toe and then back towards the wall or behind you, and then to the left. Forward to the screen, to your right, back, and to the left. Forward to the screen, to the right, and back to, and then to the left. One last rotation, forward to the screen, to the right, and back and then to the left and pause at your left and then take it back to the right, forward to the left, back to the right, forward and to the left and back to the right and forward to the left and take it back. Release the hands, bringing the palms underneath the knees, bend the knees slightly as you bring your feet together. 
Find a graceful way to come to your standing. With your feet facing towards me, bring your feet adjacent to each other so that the inner soles of the feet face each other. As you're here, bring your hands adjacent to your thighs, reaching your fingers towards the floor for your Tadasana pose. Get a sense of lengthening uh, lengthen your spine by ensuring that your head is vertically over your shoulders, your shoulders are over your hips, and the primary portion of your body weight is more towards your heels. You can take a second or two to take your two piece fingers, push the tops of the thighs so you get an indication of what that feels like. You may feel the, the toes slightly lift. When you feel your toes slightly lift and your weight is in your heels, relax your toes to the floor, relax your arms, and breathe. Take a big inhale here. And then exhale. One more breath. Inhale together. And exhale. Take the feet, wiggle them to the distance of your hips. Just ensure that your feet are in line with your knees or in the direction of your knees. Much more safer for the knees, much more safer for the postures of the asanas that we're about to perform. Bring your hands in front of your thighs. Inhale, expand your fingers to the ceiling. And then exhale, connect the fingers to the thighs, the palms to the thighs. Inhale, this time coming towards the toes as you reach towards the ceiling. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, expand, and exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, expand, and exhale, lower the heels. One more time. Inhale, expand, pause the inhale. And then exhale, gently lower, pausing the exhale. This time, bring your hands on your waist for a little bit of the, uh, the waist rotation or hip rotation. Push your pelvis forward to the right and back to the left and forward. Your weight is in your heels to the right, back to the left and forward forward, to the right, back, to the left, and forward. Pause our forward in the reverse direction, to the left, back, to the right, and forward. To the left, back, to the right, and forward. One more, to the left, back, right, and forward. And we pause here. Doing a little Utkatasana or chair pose. Just a little Utkatasana chair pose, stretch and breathing. Take your feet, I'm gonna to turn to my right, so that your feet and your knees face, uh, face relatively forward. Knees are in the direction of the feet at all times. Get that sense of pushing your weight back into your heels. You'll feel your toes lift. Then push your whole foot both of your feet are connected into your mat or into your floor. Take your palms, the palms face the front of the thighs. Your feet are a little bit apart, like if you were to put a hand between your feet, or they can be a little bit wider if you prefer, or a little closer in, your preference. Inhale, extend the arm to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, push the pelvis back or the hips back. Inhale, return to vertical. Exhale, bend the knees, keeping the chest erect. Inhale, straighten the legs, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, pushing the knees apart. And be here. Lift the chest. Keep reaching your hips back, pushing the knees to the outer edges of your mat. Three, two, 
one, straight arms, straight legs. Next for Padahasasana or forward folding, forward bending pose. Take your feet, of course, at the level at, you know, relatively at the hips distance. You go ahead and you inhale, extending the palms to the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold, bending your knees at the same time, bringing your hands adjacent to the feet, in front of the feet, or you can have your chest halfway lifted. You're exhaling and then inhale, extend the arms in line with the ears as you push into both feet, bringing your arms completely vertical. Exhale, the arms go out and down to the outer edges of the legs. Inhale, the palms flip forward towards the ceiling. Palms reach up towards the ceiling and then exhale, forward fold from the hips. You can bend your knees if you like as the hands go on the outer edges of the feet, in front of the feet, wherever is comfortable for you for this first couple of rotations. Inhale, lift the chest and the head, come halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, suck the belly button in towards the spine. Inhale, come halfway up. Lifting the chest, pushing the hips back. Exhale, forward fold. If you have any blood pressure issues, please keep your head above your heart at all times. Inhale, come halfway up, lift the chest, reach the head away from the tailbone. And then exhale, maximum bend, my friends. Breathing in and out of the nose, lengthening the spine. Maybe you shift your hips from right to left. And then inhale, come halfway up, lifting the chest, pushing the hips back. Exhale. And then inhale, take the arms out and up. Big, big breath. And then exhale, arms come down to the outside portions of the thighs. Now I'm going to turn facing you for trikonasana stretch, trikonasana breathing or our triangle pose. You can place your hands on your hips, step your feet wider than your hips with the toes facing forward. You can rotate the right foot, uh, right ankle so that the toes face to the right. You can keep your foot forward as that, if that's more comfortable to you. You get to choose because of course, this is your own personal practice, I'm just guiding. So as you're here, you take your arms, extending them out to the level of the shoulders. Way too high, of course, way too low. Turn that right foot out if you're going to do it the way that I'm going to uh, teach you to perform, or keep that right foot facing forward. You get to choose. Inhale, reach the chest to the right, and then exhale, lean the chest toward the floor. Don't worry about coming to the floor. Inhale, return to vertical. Exhale, reach the chest like you're trying to grab something to your right and lean the body to the right. Keep the pelvis facing forward. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, reach to the right as you lean the chest towards the right. Inhale, return the vertical. And exhale, and be here. As you're here, think about this left arm by extending it up towards the ceiling, never behind the shoulder, but up towards the ceiling. Push your pelvis forward towards me and think about reaching your head away from your waist. Inhale and exhale. Our next inhale returns the body to vertical. And then exhale, turn that right foot forward, bend that left knee and step the feet together, releasing the hands by the side of the body. Step the feet slightly apart and just get a sense of kind of what is different between the right and the left. You can take a couple of mindful steps around your room by keeping the chest completely vertical and up, just to get a sense of kind of what is the difference between the right and the left side Maybe you feel a little more tight on one side. Maybe 
you feel a little, um, you know, better on that side, you get to notice the difference that is important to your body. Coming back to do to your mat to perform the movement on the opposite side as well. We place our hip, our hands on our hips, and we step our feet wider than our hips. We take that left foot out, turn it facing to your left. Extend your arms out to the level of the shoulders, way too high, way too low, of course, reaching through the fingers. As you reach through the fingers, take an inhale, reach the body to the left of your screen, exhale, lean your body towards the floor, the other hand comes towards the sky. Inhale, return the vertical. Exhale, reach the body to that left side and lean to the left, reaching the fingers to the ceiling. And then inhale, return the vertical. One more time, reaching that body to the left, exhaling, leaning the body to the left and be here. We don't worry about coming to the floor because sometimes you coming too deep can have a distortion in the spine. We want to be very cautious about our alignment here. Push the pelvis towards me, feeling the back of the hip turn on. And inhale, exhale, reaching the head away from the tailbone. Our next inhale returns the body to vertical. Turn your left foot forward, bring your hands to your hips, bend into that left knee this time, and step to the left side of your mat, releasing the hands down the, those sides of the body. Take, step the feet apart, bring your hands behind your waist, the left hand grabs the right wrist, and close our eyes. We center more of our body weight towards our hips, lifting the chest, and we inhale. Inhale from the bottom portion of the belly up to the belly button, through the chest, towards the heart, the face, the top of the head, and exhale. Inhale, expand, expand, expand. Deep breathing, deep inhaling, and then exhale. Let that go. Bend your chin slightly. Start to open your eyes with a couple of weeks. And then return your feet adjacent to each other, letting the feet and the, the arms hang on the side of the body. Getting one more sense of Ritadasana pose. Did anybody, anything change? Do we feel a little different? On um, that, of course, you always, always want to assess change. Let's do a, a couple of balanced postures postures before we head to, head to the floor. So let's take our, our hands to our waist once more, shift our body weight back towards our heels, of course, firmly put, press both feet into the floor. And then when you're ready, your body weight is more to the left and towards your, uh, towards your heels, you'll lift that right foot and you'll just bring it front to back like a little leg swing. When you go back, you want to feel the back of the hips turn on, the lower portion of the glute turn on, just in a comfortable leg swing front to back. And then our last leg swing, we swing it forward, we catch the knee with the right hand, and we relax that foot, and we breathe. Keep our hips back towards our heels, keep the chest, of course, completely vertical. Focus on something that is not moving. And you breathe. <laughs> when ready, bring your knee over to the right side of your mat. And breathe, relaxing that foot, keeping the body as vertical as possible. We return the knee forward. And let's do a little extra something by taking that left hand, bring it on the outside of that right knee and bring that right hand on your waist, twisting the body to the right. So you're in a half twist. You can bring that right hand behind your back. 
so that the tops of the palm, the top of the fingers hit that left hip. Gently come out of that by bringing the right knee on front of the in front of the red, right, the right hand on top of the right knee, and the left hand on top of your waist, and gently release that leg. A lot of work in the leg, especially in the, portion, the lower portions of the glute and portions of the hips. You can shake that foot out if you desire. You can shake the opposite leg out as well. Now, let's proceed to the opposite side, bringing our hands on our waist once more, shifting our body weight to the right. When you're ready, <clears throat> bringing that left leg forward and back like a gentle leg swing. Your weight, of course, is primarily in your heels, and your full foot is pressed firmly into your floor, into your mat. Our last leg sweep bends our knee, and the top of our hand connects with the top of the knee. We focus on something that is not moving. We think about being taller than what we are, and we breathe in and out of the nose. We bring our guide or knee gently to the left of our mat, relaxing that foot. And we breathe the foot. Returning that knee forward, coming into our tw twist by bringing that right hand on top of the left knee. That left hand goes behind the small of the back. And we twist the chest towards the left of our mat. Inhale and exhale. Bringing that left hand on top of the knee one more time and then releasing that foot and shaking it out, of course, just to release some of the stress and some of the tension. Find a graceful way to come to the floor. I suggest we inhale, bringing the feet adjacent. Inhale the hands to the side. Lean the chest back. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. Palms to the center of the mat. Adjacent to your feet, step the right foot back. Step the left foot back, high plank. Too high, too low. Too low here. <laughs> Push into your hands, straighten your arms. Reach your shoulder blades a little bit forward. Three, two, one. Knees to the ground. Take your knees as wide as your hips. The tops of the toes where your fingernail, your toenails are, are connected to the floor. And you shift your hips right to left. Keeping your arms completely straight. Reaching through the length of the arm. Inhaling. And exhaling. And we pause in the minimal. We bring our forearms to the floor and our palms connect to the floor. Push your hips back, relax your head. Same rules apply, shifting the hips right to left. Pushing through the forearms, reaching the shoulders back in the direction of your hips, keeping the chest lifted higher than the collarbone. Gently stop the practice. Now straighten out the right, the left leg and the right coming into your forearm plank. Way too high, of course, way too low. Right in the middle where you're comfortable. And it's three, two, and one. Knees down, feet, the top of the toes connect to the top of the floor or your mat and walk your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Bring the palms on top of each other like a stack. And then bring the top of the head towards the top of the hands for your makrasana, relaxation pose. Inhale. Expand the belly towards the floor. Exhale, pull the belly in towards the spine. Inhale, 
Expand. Exhale, belly towards spine. Inhale, expand. And exhale, belly towards spine. Bend the knees, pretty please. Bring the knees as wide as your mat, flexing the feet strongly. And tip top the feet right to left, gentle rotation in the waist. The tops of the thighs are relatively facing the floor. A natural swing from right to left while breathing in and out of the nose. Gently stop the practice, returning the feet so that it seems like you're standing on the ceiling, flexing the feet one good time, and then gently lower the legs connect and connect them to the tops of the legs to the floor. Your chin comes to the floor, your arms extend out like super person, super woman, super man, super child, and your palms are connected to the floor. Chin remains firmly on the ground. As you inhale, just lift the right leg, pointing the toes away from you. Exhale, lower. Inhale, left. Exhale, lower. Inhale, right. Exhale, lower. And then left side. Inhale, left, and exhale, lower. Now bring the palms, they come around the ground, spinning like an angel, and bring the tops of the palms connected, or the palms connected to the tops of the thighs, with the tops of the hands connected to the floor, and relax the elbows out. Bring the legs adjacent to, your, to each other, so that they're a little bit connected. If it's too, too much strain, you can leave the legs slightly apart. When you inhale, you lift the chest and the legs simultaneously. And exhale, we lower, chin to the floor. Inhale, we lift, reaching the finger, the toes away from the body, lifting the chest. And exhale, we lower. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and be here. Inhaling and exhaling out the nose. Reach the toes away from the glute. Breathe. And exhale. Lower. Release the hands from the top of the thighs. Bring the forearms so that they are uh, in line with the top edge of your mat. Then lift the chest as your right arm is in front of the left. You can place the fingers on top of the elbows, completely fine. And you're going to pull your chest towards your elbows, linking with the spine. Keep that length as you shift your waist to the right and the left, feeling the abdominal muscle spread. If there's too much strain in the back, bring your feet a little bit wider apart. Now shift your body weight towards the right, turn your head towards the right, and lift that left leg. Breathing in and out of the nose. And then lower. Shift your body to the left side, turn your head towards the left, and lift that right leg off of the floor. Doesn't have to go very high. And lower. Shift the body towards the right. Still pulling with the arms and lift that left leg and lower. Left, shift the body to the left and lift that right leg. 
and lower. One more pull center. Pull with both arms. Leaving out the spine. And release the other. Keeping your right hand, right forearm parallel with the top edge of the mat. Taking your left arm, bring it adjacent to your waist. Now you're going to push through the right arm, pull through the left hand, and twist your body towards the left side of your mat. And then release by the chest facing the floor. Inhale here. Exhale, push into both hands, twist the body to the left on your exhale. And then inhale to the re release. Exhale, twist. Keeping the chest up. And then exhale, release. Inhale, sorry. One more. Exhale to twist to the left. And then inhale to release. Now switch the arms by bringing that left forearm parallel to the top edge of your mat. Bringing that right hand adjacent to your waist. Inhale as you lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist the body towards the right. And then inhale, release, relax the effort. Chest spins towards the floor. Exhale, twist to the right. Lengthen out the spine. And then inhale, relax the effort. Exhale, twist to the right. And then inhale, relax the effort. And then relax the posture by coming back into your makrasana or your relaxation pose with the chin on the top of the floor, the chin on the top of the hands. Inhale. Breathing. Can you relax the top of the legs? Can you relax the shoulder blades away from the ears? How deeply can you breathe? Expanding the belly towards the floor into the outer edges of the mat on your inhale. And then exhale, guide the belly button towards the spine. Inhale, expand, breathe. And exhale, relax. One more. Inhale, expand. And exhale, release. Bring our hands to the floor for our Bhujangasana, slightly behind the shoulders. Your elbows are bent and you inhale, just lift the chest, keeping the elbows bent. And then exhale, lower the chest to the floor. Inhale, push through the hands, reach the elbows towards the hip, lift the chest. Lift, just keeping your elbows bent and you exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the abdomen, lift the chest, push through the hands, and exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, push through the hands, lift the chest, and exhale, be lower. Now turn and lay on your left side of your body. Stack the legs on top of each other with the forearm parallel to the, out, the front edge of your back. Try to lengthen out your spine. Think about the top of your head instead of it tilting towards the floor, more being more erect towards the ceiling. As you're here, you can use your hands to be in front of the legs for balance, or you can take your hand behind your back for balance. I'll let you decide which is beneficial to your practice. As you're here, breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Then that, bring your, release your hand from whatever position it was in. 
bend that right knee, bring that right knee forward, and the left knee or the top knee goes back. Bring your, spin your chest to the floor, coming to your hands and straight arm for another twist. Turning the chest more towards the right. In this twist, push your knees into the floor. And when you're pushing your knees to the floor, reach them apart. See if you can twist a little deeper. And breathe. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. We shift our body to the left, bringing our palm, our left palm firmly connected to the floor. We raise that right hand and we gently guide ourselves to our back, to our shoulder. And we lengthen out our body by laying our full body on the floor with the palms facing the floor. Get a sense of the difference between the right side and the left side. We take one big deep breath here, inhaling ex and expand towards the belly, the chest, to the top of your head. And then we exhale, gently release. Now rolling onto that left side so that we can create a balance in the body by doing the postures on both sides. Bringing that forearm, of course, parallel to the front part of your mat. And you stack your legs like um, in, a, in alignment so that they're directly on top of each other. Your hand can come to the back for balance, and your hand can come to the front of the chest for balance. But think about this head, the top of your head, aspiring to go vertical instead of down towards the floor. Inhale, expand. Think about lengthening both sides of the uh, both sides where the ribcage are, are the right and the left. And you breathe. Inhaling and exhale. One more breath together. Inhale and exhale. So we bend that right knee, that right knee goes back and the left knee goes forward. And we come to our hands, to our fingertips for our twist. As you're here, you can move your chest more to the left. Arch the chest also and push the knees into the floor. When you have a little muscle activated in your knees, while your knees press into the floor, reach them apart from each other and see if you can twist just a little bit more. But you don't forget to breathe. Inhale. And exhale. We shift our body weight to the right so that our right palm connects to the floor. We free our left hand and we gently Roll on our back of our shoulder. Extend your legs freely. A little prone, uh, supine work here. Inhale, the palm space to the floor, raising the right leg to the side. Keep that left leg relaxed. Exhale, lower, gently lower. Inhale, lift. Left, reaching throughout through the feet, and then exhale gently lower. Right, exhale lower. Left. Exhale, lower. Keeping both feet connected to the floor, bring the feet and the legs till they touch. Bringing your arms closer to your the upper portion of your legs. 
Inhale, push into your hands, lift both legs up at the same time. Flexing the feet and just breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. If your hamstrings are too tight, feel free to bend your knees. Inhale. And exhale. Keep your legs vertically. Bring your feet a little bit apart. Now turn your toes in and out. You want to feel some of the rotation coming from the top of the hip joints. And then gently stop the rotation and rotate your ankles to the left. And rotate your ankles the opposite way. And gently stop the practice. Now, bring the arms behind the head. If this is not too much strain, you can keep them here if you like. We're gonna gently lower our, head, our legs to the floor. On the count of five, four, three, three, two, and one. Now bring the hands adjacent to your, your waist. The palms connect to the floor. Bend the knees once more so that the feet, the knees face the ceiling, making the feet as wide as your hips. Push into both feet firmly. Now pull the heels towards you without lifting the feet on the floor. And then reach your head away from your hips. Keep your legs very active and push the knees to the outer side of your mat. Inhale, we lift the hips just a little bit. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Connect with the muscles in your lower abdomen. Feel them turn on. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, keep pulling in through the feet. And exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Straighten out the left leg, bend that right knee, grab the right knee with the top of the hands, take a breath, completely relax that left leg. Relax the left, right knee in towards the chest and breathe. And gently grab, guide that right knee to the right. And try to relax that right foot as well. Inhale. And exhale. The knee comes closer to the midline portion of the body. And you release that leg completely to the floor. Left side, bending that knee, catching with the top of the hands. And gently pulling that knee over to the left as you relax and breathe. And then release the leg to the floor, preparing for your Shavasana, your relaxation. Bringing your feet and your legs completely close together, closing your legs. Bringing your hands adjacent to your thighs and your legs, the palms connect to the outside of the legs. Now tighten the toes, pointing the toes away from the body. Tighten the ankle joints, tighten the calf muscles. Tighten the tops of the knees, tighten the quadriceps with the tops of the thighs, the glutes, the lower portion of the belly, still breathing in and out of the nose, the chest, the space behind the heart, the arms, the palms connected to the top, to the top of the thigh, the facial muscles, tighten, 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 big breath, and then release everything, let it go.
How deeply can you breathe? In this relaxation state, you get a chance to process the effects of your, your practice. You get to let go of all the tension in your body, all the stressors for a brief moment of time. And you breathe. You breathe through the length of the body, from the tips of the toes to the top of the head. And then you exhale from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. Inhale with me for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Inhale. For one, two, three, four. Exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for three, two, and Start to move gently, bringing life back into the body by moving the toes and the fingers, reaching through the length of the arms and the legs. Take a full body stretch by reaching your hands behind your head, reaching your toes away from your fingers. Take a breath. And then exhale, roll onto the side facing the screen. Using that bottom arm for a pillow, resist the urge to curl your spine. You can bend the knees, but don't round the spine. When ready, place your hands on the floor and come to your Vajrasana pose or your favorite closing out posture to close out our practice. We bring our hands to the front of our heart, arms in our namaste prayer pose with the thumb, of course, connecting to the center of the heart. We lengthen out the spine, arching the chest, and relaxing the elbows. We close our eyes as we inhale together to close out our practice. And we exhale together. Om. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niravaya Sarve Padrani Kachantu Ma Pachit Together. Om Shanti 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 Slightly dip the chin. My name is Sharanda. As always, I am grateful for your support. And get a house, I am grateful for your support as well. Please continue to spread the word about India House's classes from a variety of teachers and support this beautiful thing that is our practice. The divine light and love honors the divine light and love in you. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Take care of yourselves and do very well. Look after each other and protect each other. Have a beautiful day. My name is Shalanda. Namaste.